yards after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Well, good. Miller with my hand up. Take the girl with the bands do. David Ruffin with the dance. Stadium last Sunday night against the Cowboys. And now it's the Chargers turn as you get a look at the brand new SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Today it's a matchup in the AFC West between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. Two teams here fresh off week one victories. Who can keep it going as we're underway? Sports. Desmond King now to return it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 29 yard line. situation they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. They brought the house that time on the young rookie maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. The first carry now. This is Williams. A nice opening right away as he'll maneuver his way up to the 32-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yards that they needed. touchdown here of the new campaign and the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead and his kick is no good and the auspicious start here kicking wise as this one stays a 6-0 game Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City now he's back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss Here's Desmond King on the return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping that that last mistake is the only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about. Right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Well, no matter your experience level as a quarterback, you throw an interception on that first drive, maybe a little shaken up. Nice response there to get their first first down. I think you make an excellent point. I don't care who you are. You throw an interception, it's going to get to you a little bit. But the ones that we've seen that are the best, you never notice it. They don't come to the bench, throw their helmets, they don't do any of that. They just go back out the next drive and act like it never happened. And that's what we're seeing. Here. you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. 
first quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. Chargers are an extra point away from moving out in front. Michael Batchelor. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown score or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals, they all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him at their own 25 yard line. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 27-yard line. They fake the give, now Mahomes. Quickly into the hands of Robinson. And he's brought down after a very nice game. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. City Chiefs. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play of the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. down carry it's Williams and he'll get this down only to about the 46 a gain of three second down Jerry Tillery not a whole lot there the defense was ready it looked for that run pass option you get the sense the next time he has that opportunity he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one huh they go play action now the homes and he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This will be caught inside the 10. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Andy Reid never wanted to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. Working from the gun, Mahomes. First down to his left. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. Chargers here, first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll hand off here to Eckler. Chris Jones on the stop. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up.
Here's Herbert now on second down. Finding Green complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a gain of six. Makes it third and two. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. 12. Chargers 7. second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here they'll try to pick up the first with Eckler and he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47 so just four yards on the pickup but that's good enough to extend the drive first and ten at the 47 yard line first down and they stick with Eckler and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Here's the ball carrier. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Second and eight. Out of the gun, Herbert. to become a factor. I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz it? Do I need to pressure it? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Damian Williams was dinged up a little bit in 2019 in Kansas City. Brought in LaShawn McCoy to supplement him. But when healthy, Damian Williams is a terrific back. Excellent speed, low center of gravity to make people miss. And how about the longest run in the league in 2019? 91 yards against the Vikings in week nine. Many thought he was going to get caught, but he used the scoreboard in the stadium to make sure that no one was behind it as he carried it all the way to the end zone. Mahomes on target there to Hill. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Good. 23 yards on the play. Now a first and 10 at the 11. At the 11 yard line. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Dancing to his left. And he's going to keep it here. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and that'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Harrison So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 25-yard line. The 
Charger drive about to get going. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United. And no, not, not quite of that level and not of that age. But I remember I was looking, going for the age. I remember looking over at it and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that yeah, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. Third and long, it's Herbert. That's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down and on is Ty Long to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. This is fielded at the 27. huge return as it is still a very good one 24 yards and the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over on play action it's Mahomes he'll take a shot for the end zone Incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't cut it off. The pro bowler Tyreek Hill, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with the guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Robinson's got it. Down to the edge of the red zone. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think of the huddle the quarterback just says, hey, he's going to make a play for me. I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. Brings up second and seven at the 18-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage. But every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, you fooled them with the inside run. But eight yard line. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight yard line, second and goal. On the toss, here's Williams. winding down and the Chiefs are able to grow their lead they have really had their way so far in the first half but they wanted to continue to build on their lead they know that no lead is safe in this league so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half and they got it done City. 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they will ring them down a couple yards shy of the 30. Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Charger drive about to get going. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will... There he goes, right side. And he's in for the touchdown. Final play of first half. The player is answered. How did they get that done? Well, certainly they haven't had the ideal first half, but there's something, some momentum for them to take into halftime. Yeah, and it might not be that wild momentum, you know, that you see sometimes when they score late and teams go sprinting off and the whole deal. No, it might not be that, but it does give them a better feeling about themselves and what they can accomplish in the second half. So they say no to the field goal try, and time has run out on this first half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. 21-yard line. It's about set to begin this drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had. Done. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And... Probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start bringing even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Bring One thing you're hoping for down. when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And good. And got his man complete. 30. The 20. Do what we do. Do what we do. All the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Chiefs add on to their lead. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking. A about as much as they could click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because. The guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down. Good luck. He's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Not much of it. Andy Reid never wanted to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. They'll look to run for him with Williams. And he will get into the end zone. And it's the lead by two more. 32. Chargers, 13. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will make it into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The 
the Charger drive about to get going. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Running on first down, Eckler. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. His third interception. Reception CD, uh, it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle made by Colin. No gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 24-yard line. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. One caught by Travis Kelsey. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. A gain of three. It's fourth down. will give this one to Eckler. 
And he'll take this one down to the 36. Austin Eckler. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Frank Clark. They're up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And this one complete to me. And crossover out of bounds right at the 25. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. They'll get this to Eckler. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Got that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Going for it all. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by the Honey Badger, Tyler Matthew. And a short return to the six-yard line. Perverted pass. Intercepted. The Chiefs take over first and ten at their own six-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. Rick, this is what NFL offense is called, four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. 32, Chargers 13. Nine sacks with the San Francisco 49ers in 2019. 
brings up third and I know it's a little bit of a cliche to talk about all the tight ends who are really wide receivers in the NFL, but Travis Kelsey fits that perfectly. He led all tight ends last season with over 1,200 yards receiving, fourth in the NFL. I think he's one of the gold standards in the league for the tight end position, and I don't know if anyone has any more fun playing the game than Travis Kelsey. Throwing is Mahomes on third. It's complete to Williams. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line. Tackled there. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is out of the back of the end zone incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. But it's going to be second down at the 40 yard line. Here's second and 10. Gun, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get it, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Some breathing room. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. Kansas City Chiefs. First, though, here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Working with a second and three. with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Now a throw for the all-pro. Kelsey is complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second and one. 
at the Chargers 18 yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. This one he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Touchdown. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, he's got him in the lead. Personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it and get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. The Chargers take over first step 10 at their own 26. The Charger drive about to get going. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive? And I'm saying again. second down to the air again Herbert for later, but make sure you grab someone on the sidelines and say, hey, make sure I get that football, okay? Takes this about five yards deep. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. They're on the 17-yard line. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. It's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. To put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and shake hands. Yes. Get out of there. Now a man has been busy this afternoon. Williams. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. So a third and 10, and defensively, a dime look, 60 B's. Again, it's Williams. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down, right near the 24. He's able to chew up eight yards on the carry there, but still, fourth down upcoming. It's fourth down. Today's well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking, they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them.